what is going on everybody uh i want to talk to you about being afraid to get good right being afraid to get better at painting and uh so an example of that would be when you're working on painting something let me give you a personal example uh so i'm working on this frankenstein bust my very first bust and just been working in black and white and that's going to give me a lot of control and i always know i can go back and use the same black and same white and mix it up and keep uh trying to achieve you know better and better effects so i'm trying to do it in a value scale now the value scale is supposed to be the underpainting and that is my plan so the underpainting was then going to guide me to the color layers. Now it's been quite a few weeks since I've added any black or white to them and I certainly haven't added any color. And the problem is that it looks good now. So let's change that. Are we afraid to become great, I guess? And that, you know, that's a relative term, whatever. But the reason I haven't added any color is because at this point, I think it looks good in black and white and I'm afraid, I guess, to ruin it by starting to add layers of color and I think that happens a lot with people and you reach almost a state of like a standstill on your models so I'm currently working on my death watch imperial knight so I did a little freehand skull it looks pretty cool um, I kind of put out a pattern on the carapace here that's kind of cool Kind of playing around on his face and chest will be maroon and he's gonna have a gold uh beard <laughs> uh i was kind of thinking gold teeth but i guess he kind of matches my beard so i'm kind of working on it uh, lately here uh one more here i got a little freehand skull on the knee there it's kind of hard to see and i airbrush these armor panels not sure what to put on this shoulder pad or the weapons but the problem is, I feel like I did a good job on this shoulder pad, right? The skull feels cool. The stripes feel pretty good. There's a little bit of a thickness issue at the top of this first one, but that's okay. And the skull looks pretty cool. So now, because I did a good job there, I'm worried. Whereas originally I approached this in a pretty quick kind of try and get it done process, but I haven't put a wash on it anything yet because I'm worried now that what I'm going to do is going to ruin part of what I've achieved already. And this is really a bad way of thinking because if I did it once, I could certainly do it again. It wasn't a happy accident necessarily. Sometimes maybe a certain wash will dry a certain way that will be like a happy accident. But as long as you, you know, you could still do it again, right? You're not losing anything by trying. But I still will reach, here's the blank shoulder pad. You know, you reach a, uh, I guess like a, what is it, analysis paralysis, right? Now that I did one part good, I'm like, well, oh, geez, you know, I don't want to not do this part good or this part good. And it's causing much slower progress than in the beginning. Uh, this is also the case with just painting units of models, right? If you paint 20 say you got to paint 30 eye guard guys in the first 10 you really you know try some cool stuff is it gonna slow you down on the next 20 because you're almost afraid to try it again and make a mistake whereas if you just half-assed all of them uh you would get them done but they wouldn't be great right so i don't know if this is making a lot of sense but I'm curious if other people experience this where say you painting a model and you do the face and you're really happy with the face and then that causes you to slow down and maybe even stop for a while or you have to force yourself to finish the rest of it or maybe you never do right maybe you just put it aside because you already feel like you've done the best you can on one part and you're not done with the whole thing and maybe this is just you I can't be unique right everybody has to be going through similar thing so i'm gonna assume there's other people out there that this happens to and it definitely happens if you're interested in 
uh, progressing and getting better at a, at a skill or a task. Uh, it would be like, you know, if you were just painting specifically for army painting purposes only and had no, you know, all you needed was your three colors just so you could play in like an event and you don't care as long as they look, oh, you know, decent enough or, you know, like a level one commission job is like your idea of a painted miniature. Uh, maybe this doesn't apply, but I am curious, like, what do you think the thought process is on why I did this shoulder pad good, right? I'm going to say it's good. I think the skull's cool, right? And I can't decide what to even do on the other one. I could paint another skull in different, you know, black and white scale or whatever, and it could have two. It could be maybe a different design. I don't, I don't know, right? But because that one I like a lot, I'm a, like, I don't want to do the other one until I feel like I'm going to like it a lot. And I don't know if the answer is doing another skull or what that is exactly. Uh, at the same token, like the opposite side of that coin is sometimes when you're doing something and you like the way it turns out, you keep going, right? If you are doing a unit of five guys and you hit one guy with like some extra highlights or you bring it up to a crisp, clean, white line or something, you're going to do it on the other four. Right, because you're like, well, this is, you're so happy with this one, you're gonna boom, 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 boom on the other four. But I feel like there's some kind of maybe disconnect, and maybe this is unique to only some people, and so some people may not relate. But say you nail it out of the, you know, ballpark, whatever, hit it out of the ballpark on this one, and you repeat it on the rest of your squad, right? And you're like, wow, these are cool. This is my best five, you know, intercessor marines I ever painted now the next five do you carry that momentum and that positivity and that energy into the next five or are you maybe stressed or worried or anxious that you're you did the best five right these next five are they got to be worse how could you do it again and uh these are just random random things that i think people probably come across while they're painting that maybe they're not thinking about and I just wanted to verbalize it a little bit because I noticed I'm just kind of piddling around on this night you know picking out some little like brassy kind of gold areas and things because without making any more real steps towards the completed project because the completed project means I have to figure out what I want to do with you know this leg panel and maybe these thigh panels and this crotch piece and this leg and this other shoulder, you know, the back of this hand, I mean, that, you know, this is a mighty pimp hand. This could be, maybe I could paint the Mona Lisa on it. You know, maybe I can't, but but what if I just paint one stripe, right? And then I think, oh, I should have painted the Mona Lisa on it, but I didn't because I was, you know, afraid that it's not, the quality of whatever I paint on there is not going to match what maybe I've already achieved on this one. So, just some things to think about. Uh, hopefully this was interesting and you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and we'll have some more videos coming for you. I just crank them out as much as I can think of them and things I want to talk about. Uh, also comment below if you want to ask me anything or talk about any of this topic or any other topic because I almost always reply. So cool, right? Give me a thumbs up if you like. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. But most importantly, if you like it, subscribe.